Hello! In this video I will show you how it's possible to make data reading from the SQL database using Excel custom function. For the beginning I will show you what we can achieve at the end and then I will show you the steps how to do it. Uh, let's assume that you have a two tables, table 1 and table 2. In first table you have a person's and age and in the second table you have a sales statistic where you can find the product names and the price. And let's assume that you need to prepare the, some kind of report in the Excel on the regular basis and uh, take the data from the database. Let's assume that you need in one row to get oldest person from the database table and in another you need to get the last price for selected product. And in order to get it in automatic way we can create formulas in the Excel. Yeah, it is user defined function. Let's say max age. We can enter it here and we can see that formula take the data from the database and uh, show the result. It's J. If we will enter something new in the database, let's say another person, Dennis, 95 years, then with a simple formula acceptance, we get a new value, Dennis. So the data updated online. And uh, if we look on the products, then we can do the following. Enter the formula, get last product price, and as argument choose sell with a product name. And then we can instantly get the price, 800. And as soon as we change the product, price will be changing accordingly, as you can see in this example. This technical approach for Excel SQL database integration can be used in many different cases. For example, if you need to do some kind of reports uh, on the regular basis uh, and this report should be generated from the different sources, then you can easily create a set of uh, Excel formulas which extract the data from the different places and uh, just every month uh, or every week you simply add uh, some different uh, arguments to the formula and uh, instantly you can open the file and get a uh, fresh view on your data in the Excel as you need. So, uh, next I will show you step by step how to create the following integration. We should start from uh, SQL query preparation. In order to make the first Excel formula, we need to create SQL query which will work behind. In order to get the query which will return the person names with the maximum age, we should make the such simple query. How it works? At the beginning, this subquery calculates the maximal age in the table and then we make a condition that age should be equal to the maximal age and return the person name. If we will execute it, we will get the Dennis. Okay? In the second case, when we need to get a price uh, for specific product, we need to make a query to the second table, return the price and in condition we should choose product name and for the beginning we just simply enter any value and make an order by the date in order to get on the top the latest price. Then in order to use these queries in the Excel we need to put for convenience, yeah, just simply for convenience we need to uh, put uh, all query in one line. It will be convenient to copy them, like I'm doing right here. Yep. 
and then we need to create a username in the our database which will have a right to read from the database in order to make a user let's go to security new login and let's create user reader with the password crystal let's remove that and we need to make a mapping for the user on the our test database and choose that the user should be able to read from the database like this so when sql query and uh, user for access is ready we need to turn to the excel uh, in this excel as you can see i already entered uh, the text like the oldest person is and uh, created the green cell where we would like to get a result and as well i make another row with a product and drop down with the different uh, product names the same names as we have in our uh, sql table last price is a simple text and uh, another green cell for result what to do next next we need to open developer tab and choose visual basic in visual basic we need to make a right click on the project insert and module in this module we need to copy the script which you can find in the video comments for those uh, who are not familiar with the visual basic uh, i will explain the main things here what you need to know uh, first of all here we have uh, two functions db request max h and uh, db request uh, get last product price yeah the same names you will see in the excel interface then here uh, is important at the beginning to assign the empty result to the function then we have a different definition of the variables and then important stuff here we need to define the connection to our database in our example our sql server located on my computer that's why i will have such address in your case it could be the different yeah because if i come back to the sql you can see on the top sql express it's my name of the sql server in your case it could be different then we should to uh, define the database name where tables are located and user and password which we had created for reading then here we need to copy our query which we created uh, in the excel yes in this case uh, this query return the person with the maximal age and then here the result of this query assigned to our function result in the second function which returns the price we have one incoming attribute or parameter product name and we expect that it will be a string it means that it will be a text and in return this function will return digit with the decimals uh, then inside the function we do almost the same at the beginning we assign to the result of the function zero instead of a blank text in connection to database uh, we define all the same parameters the server name database name username and the password and then we need to copy uh, the script from the sql it is the same script 
Yep. Just uh, with one difference. Yeah, I, I will do it once again. With one difference. Instead of uh, this uh, temporary name of the product, I will put a double quotes. We'll put pluses. And uh, here inside I will type the variables or parameter which come inside the function. Prod name. And it means that incoming parameters will be used inside uh, SQL query here. Then the result of this query we get back to the function and uh, this will be returned back to the Excel. Uh, one more important uh, thing which you need to make in the Visual Basic is to enable uh, the references or the access to the special commands uh, which are able to connect to the database. For that purpose you need to open tools, references and here you need to choose Microsoft uh, ActiveX data objects like here. Microsoft ActiveX data objects and uh, in general doesn't matter which uh, version it is just some latest one. Okay? Then you can make a save, great, and then we can go back to the Excel spreadsheet. So, what we can do over here? In the first example, where we need to get the oldest person age, we go to the green cell, we can click on the insert function, and then in the drop down list here we will see user defined function and we can see that we get a function db request max h the same like we had or like we have in our visual basic press ok yeah here on the top you can see that the name absolutely the same like here in the script oh yeah i need to approve this function yeah, the name is the same, db request max h. And as you can see, the system instantly returns the value, Dennis. In the second case, we go to the another green cell. We can click on the function icon once again. And to choose db request get last product price function. In this case, this function have one incoming parameter or incoming attribute. Uh, here we need to choose the product name like in normal Excel functions. Our uh, product name is located in B9 cell. We enter it over here and press OK. And as you can see we instantly get the price which are taking from the database. And if we change the product, then the price will be changed automatically as well. Yeah, just to check that it's correct. For example, IBM PC, we get 800 of something. If we will go back to the SQL, we can check how much it costs in our tables. And we can see that uh, IBM PC, yeah, the price is 800. So, as you was able to see, with Excel custom functions, which are connected to the database, it's possible to automate uh, our reports, uh, which need to take the data from the database. And it's provide us uh, really endless opportunities. I hope that you find this video useful. In the next videos, I will show how it's possible to make more complicated custom functions in the Excel which are connected to the more complicated queries and SQL storied procedures. That's it. Take care. Bye-bye.